Hi guys, this is Love Kumar, and in this video, I'll show you how to automatically test for CSR vulnerabilities using iNOS. Now, we'll be using the demo app as an example to show how this actually works. So, this is the demo app. Let me quickly log in, and when I go inside, this application has a functionality where it'll ask for a name and a mobile number, and, uh, and it actually sets up a meeting with the celebrity. Now, this particular form. If we look at the corresponding logs, uh, we can actually see that uh, that specific form is protected by a CSRF token. Right now, there are a bunch of uh, links available here. Every link has a, a, you know has access to a form. Now, all of these forms are protected by the same CSRF token. Now, our job is to find out if in any of these forms the application is actually making a mistake in validating the CSRF token or in other words is it actually possible to submit any of these forms without a valid CSRF token and still have the application process it now the so we could actually test for it by going to every individual form trying to submit it and capturing that request with a with a proxy and then manipulating the value of the CSRF token so that is a manual way of testing uh, you know, for CSRF, uh, what we can actually do with Iron Wasp is automate this uh, these series of steps. So I'll, I'll let me show you how this works. So I go to Interactive Testing Tools, and you have this option called Test for CSRF Protection. I open that, and first it'll ask me for the name of the CSRF token parameter, and as you can see, the name of the parameter is token. So I'll enter that value here, and the next option is how do you want to test for CSRF protection so what this uh, setting would do is it would replace the value of the actual token with this uh, dummy value so now we have another option where we can uh, actually remove the value of the CSRF token and then do the test and since m most of the forms in fact all of these forms is only accessible after you log into the application we have to give a login recording so that the test could be performed properly now I'll select the host name on which the test has to be performed. Okay, so now what uh, the tool has done is it has gone through the logs and it, and it has identified all the requests which actually have the CSRF token inside them. And uh, so I can check or uncheck any specific request I want from this list. And then I'll just say test selected candidates. So IronWasp is now testing every single request uh, for CSRF. So what it actually does is it t sends the request again, but this time it replaces the value of the actual token with the dummy value that we selected. And once it sends the request, it gets a response and it compares this response with the response of the original request, which had a valid token. And it tells us the percentage of difference between this, uh, the response for a request with a valid token and the response for a request with an invalid token. And as you can see, uh, most of these requests have a difference of 51% and we can actually see the difference in response here. Uh, so there is a significant difference between both the responses. And in fact, we could also take a look at how the response looks. Now this is how the response looks when the token is invalid. and this is how the response looks when the token is valid. So when the token was valid, uh, we could see that a meeting was set up. And when the token was invalid, the application rejected it. And it is showing us the form again. So, okay, so this is normal behavior. But you can see in two cases, which are highlighted in red, the percentage of difference is actually two, which means the responses are largely similar. And if you look at the response, you can see that in both cases, it says that the meeting has been set up. Uh, and here as well, it says the meeting has been set up with Saif Ali Khan. So these two requests are actually vulnerable to CSRF uh, attack because even though we send a request with an invalid token, so as you can see, this was sent with a valid token and this request was sent with an invalid token. Now, even though we are sending a request with an invalid token, the application is processing this request and it is, uh, you know, uh, so it's basically failing to process, uh, to validate the CSRF token in this particular instance. So there were two instances where a CSRF vulnerability is found and we were able to detect it automatically 
using the CSRF test feature. 